Alas, poor John 117. I knew him, Horatio, a man of infinite wit and jest. Actually, he was kind of a sullen, taciturn, tough guy type. Man, no one's here to appreciate my hilarious jokes. Everyone's out of DA. I'm gonna go bug Sam. Sam, since our, our, our likely suspects are out of the office, Jose yeah, like, is nowhere. Everyone's Tina's at nowhere. EA They're all today? at EA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I have to talk about Halo Day with or Bungie Day with <laughs> you someone. You need to talk about okay. Halo Day. Yeah, no, no. So you've, you've got to be my sounding board. Yeah, today. no, no. I was actually wondering what was going on today. From you know, not much. Not actually. a lot. Of, I think everyone yeah. was expecting a big announcement, but the, you know, uh, Bungie announced Aerospace last week. Yeah, their, their kind of uh, indie games platform development partnership system. Yeah. I don't know how to best describe that, but yeah, today I think they're just kind of saying a tearful farewell to Halo, which has mm -hmm. been their bread and butter for 10 years. Actually, longer than that. I don't know if you uh, followed Bungie before. The, like in the marathon days, or, or well, just sort of? Well, after, after marathon, there yeah. was uh, this, this uh, story page that someone had that was like focused on just dissecting the, the story to marathon, and Bungie started sending letters, supposedly from Cortana, to uh, ah. the guy who ran that site. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah. was like their early teaser for Halo. So I've been following it uh, ever since then, because I was like, oh, marathon, sequel, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, Actually, yeah. speaking of uh, that, you know, actually in the early days of Halo, I remember talking to, who was, who was originally the publisher, or going to be a publisher, was it Rockstar or uh, someone? No. But I remember. I think they might have just. I, I don't know who was going to be the yeah. publisher before Microsoft bought them out. But it, yeah, I remember talking to PR people, whoever was going to be a publisher, uh, and you know they were originally talking about it being SKUs on PC and uh, and well, PS2. Well, it was, it was uh, debuted uh, at MacWorld. It was supposed right. to be a Mac game. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like it was going to be this huge RTS, and then they turned it into like a third-person action squad game or something. Yeah, yeah. And then it became the first-person shooter. So they had like this. I don't know, ambition to kind of combine Marathon and Myth, and then it just basically ended up being like Marathon, but more linear. But, you know, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Halo's been been good. It's It's been really influential, and it's been fun to play. You're, you're playing Reach right now, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, I'm loving how, it, actually. How far into it are you? Uh, probably about halfway, yeah. but yeah, I'm really liking it. But uh, yeah, it's crazy to think that it's it's been uh, 10 years, you know? So yeah, so. I think after today, they have their last playlist, and they compete with fans to, you know, give out steak. Yeah. And, uh, that's it. Then it's on to uh, to their next project with Activision. I yeah, guess. And yeah. Three Four Three does the next Halo games. Yeah. No, but but you said wait, like so th did Marathon? You said Marathon hit. On oh the yeah, iPad, yeah. Or? Like the the one I guess kind of celebratory thing for uh, for Bungie Day is that uh, someone has released a port of the original Marathon to iPad. It's not it's not an official Bungie game because Bungie you know open sourced yeah. uh, Marathon a long time ago, but they're kind of you know they put their their backs behind it. And, uh, you know, for whatever reason, the Apple system happened to approve the, uh, the app for launch today, which I guess means Apple is over its fit of peak after uh, Marathon went from being a Mac exclusive to yeah. Bungie <laughs> being owned by Microsoft. Right. That, was a, that was a sticking point back then. That, yeah. was, that was a harsh contest. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, you know, it plays like like a first person shooter on iPad, which is a safe, not really that fun, but right, it's right. just cool to go back and, and you know, have those memories of that's kind of neat days. to see at least yeah, not yeah, running yeah. on an it's iPad. Upside down too. Okay, looks, there we go. Looks pretty good. Yeah. 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 High resolution yeah. and everything. Huh. Don't know about the D-pad, but whatever. So that's did cool. they? So how did they kind of end their post? You know, to the to the fans. Like, you know, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't. I don't know that they've posted their uh, oh, the, the their final final, final yeah, post yeah. yet. Oh, okay. But, but you know, yeah. uh, I think I think you know, it kind of is going out with a, a bang. The the Bungie team is just kind of jumping in and playing the game with their fans, which I don't know. Bungie's always been about its fans, and that's yeah. that's what I liked about them even back in the the old Mac Marathon days. Like yeah. they were really an accessible publisher, and developer, and really easy to go along with and, and to kind of get a sense of the personalities. So I'm I'm glad that they're kind of keeping that, even though there's you know, different people now and they're so much bigger. But right, right. You know, they're still they're still Bungie. Hmm. So I don't know. So will they? Do you think they'll keep this like Bungie Bungie Day alive then when they go into their next? Project yeah, probably. Or, it's yeah. seven seven, and yeah. Bungie is like obsessed with the number seven. So I don't, <laughs> I don't see that ever changing. At least right. not while Jason Jones is in charge. Yeah. All, all right. right. Well, cool. That's all I wanted. Yeah. I just needed to ramble to yeah. someone about Marathon <laughs> and Bungie and Halo. <laughs> well, so cool. get back to work, I guess. Yeah, I guess so.